In today's Entertainment City, we hear from the newest Peter Parker, a.k.a. Tom Holland, just as a second trailer for Spider-Man Homecoming debuts to many crying, spoiler alert! Do me a favor. Can't you just be a friendly neighborhood Spider-Man? It is full of action, glimpses of the villainous vulture, cool Spidey tech devices, and a whole lot of Iron Man. But does the second trailer for Spider-Man Homecoming show too much? I was just trying to be like you. I wanted to be better. That's what some critics are saying, claiming it's webbed with spoilers, seeming to reveal major plot points, including this epic fight scene between Spider-Man and Vulture. Other critics say Homecoming, which is the first Spider-Man film actually set within the Marvel Cinematic Universe, is looking, based on this trailer, like a conventional blockbuster, even though it's supposed to be different than the previous two franchises. However, Spidey himself, Tom Holland, spun his way into CinemaCon in Vegas this week to vouch for homecoming. This is a very different take on Spider-Man. This is something we haven't seen before. I'm obviously a lot younger, so we can really play on the youthful side of the character. We've seen the soldier, we've seen the billionaire, we've seen the god, and now it's time to see the kid. Spider-Man Homecoming is set to hit theaters July 7th. Drake was forced to cancel his show in Amsterdam very last minute earlier this week, and now we know why. Bad sushi. Yep, the Six God was dealing with extreme food poisoning that landed him in hospital with severe stomach pain, and his doctor told him not to go on stage. Fans were particularly upset considering the show had already been rescheduled twice. Drake's expected to make it up to the Dutch crowd with a show tonight, and we hope he's feeling better. Look at this. Look how much darker that picture is than your yearbook one. They OJ'd you! The Johnsons have joined the ranks of favorite TV families in Blackish. And in case you couldn't tell, a lot of that winning chemistry is due to the fact that the stars really love each other like family. I spend more time being married to Anthony on TV than I do, like, in my regular life. So, yeah, we're a family. What you see is, is how we actually are. But ever since it hit the airwaves nearly three years ago, Blackish has been more than a family sitcom. When we visited the stars on set, we asked about the winning formula of comedy and social and political commentary. Comedy makes things very receivable. When your heart's open, you can take a lot more in. Um, much better than you can when you're being punched in the face. It's easier to feed someone uh, with a teaspoon of sugar than it is with a teaspoon of salt. Well, tonight's episode promises to be a conversation starter. Controversial and troubled singer Chris Brown is a guest star. See how it all plays out tonight on City. There was an attack. You were dying. We saved you, and now you save others. Led by a fierce Scarlett Johansson, the live-action take on the manga classic Ghost in the Shell is fast and flashy. While the Hollywood remake of the Japanese original has been receiving plenty of pushback, including accusations of whitewashing due to Johansson's casting in a role seen by many as Asian-specific, the film does build on its beloved source material. Source material that has long been more influential in Hollywood than you might realize. There's so much in this that I saw that so many other filmmakers were influenced by, from the Wachowskis to Spielberg, especially The Matrix. Yeah, when I saw the Ghost in the Shell animation, which I hadn't seen previously, I was like, whoa, this is so influential, especially for The Matrix. And you, you think, uh, God, this was made before, like, the internet existed. It's pretty crazy to be a part of. Now, as always, get your entertainment news first in the morning right here and anytime on Twitter at NCity.